This album is called 1989. Nine years ago today, the most awarded pop album ever with over 150 awards, including the 2016 Grammy Album of the Year, was released. 1989 by Taylor Swift. Today, Swift finally gets to own her most successful album. Taylor Swift had her original albums up to reputation with her past label Big Machine Records and her manager Scooter Braun. So Scooter Braun actually bought those records, practically stole them away from her. Which brings us to Scooter Braun. Ugh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so you, you didn't see it coming? No. So how did you find out? I found out when it was online, like when it hit the news. She decided to go and re-record all of her albums up to reputation so that she, they would be legally hers. I made it very clear that I wanted to be able to buy my music. That opportunity was not given to me. So I just figured I was the one who made this music First, I can just make it again. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. It's not mainly about the profit making, but it's just about ownership of her music and her music was stolen from her. And now she's re-recording them to get them back. Swift, being the mastermind she is, has released 10 studio albums. Her first six albums were the ones that were sold without her consent, making her want to re-record them. Currently, she has released the re-recording for four of those albums, leaving her with two albums left to release. But out of all 10 albums, which album does Gehanna Lincoln High School consider to be her best body of work? My vote goes to Folklore. My favorite album is Red. My favorite album is Midnight's. Favorite Taylor Swift album is 1989. Love it. 1989. Speak now. 1989. Lover. Fearless. Lover. Folklore. Evermore. 1989. Lover. Midnight. 1989. <laughs> Fearless. Lover. Speak now. Lover. Reputation. So far. Fearless. Lover. 1989. Well, there you have it. After close numbers all across the board, Lover pulled out on top as Gehanna Lincoln's favorite album, with 1989 as a very close second. With how successful 1989 was nine years ago, it'll be interesting to see the success it gets this time around. And whenever you decide you want to listen to Taylor Swift, just remember... When something says in parentheses Taylor's version next to it, that means I own it, which is exciting. <laughs> this is Natalie Fogel for Lincoln Life. It's quite, it's quite a clever a loophole, oh, Taylor.